Hello Lilikins and welcome back to another episode. So today we are going to be talking about health and wellness once again. And this time uh, I'm actually going to be talking about pregnancy because I think that is a very important topic. And also I am pregnant so it kind of works out. So um, a lot of the time when I am looking for something to eat. Sometimes I like to grab inspiration on either Pinterest or Google and just to see what's out there, um, just to have something different and uh, try new things because I like to do that from time to time. But I've noticed a lot on there that um, there is an unfortunate amount of really just not good for you foods out there that are uh, that people are having while pregnant uh, like a lot of deep fried foods um, and not a lot of food and it's just it's kind of sad to me to to think about that uh, because as we know uh, it is important to get a lot of the nutrition that we need during this time for our babies. You know, everything that we are putting into our bodies is for us and the majority for our baby because they are taking in everything that we are eating. So with that being said, it is hard to imagine, um, having deep fried foods, candies, and the like, because it's not beneficial to our babies, right? I mean, that's a lot of fat and um, unhealthy things to be putting in our bodies in general. And part of the reason why I feel that a lot of women go towards that is because they're like, well, I'm pregnant. I can have whatever I want. And, you know, everybody has the right to make their own decisions, right? But we should be mindful of what we're putting into our bodies because it's going directly to the baby, too. So, what can we do instead? Uh, And the other, like, the other part that I had mentioned earlier is we're not um, in these pictures and stuff, they're not big meals by any means. And I can understand that if you're somebody who can, um, who has bloating issues, um, which, you know, hey, (laughs) it, it can be common, especially in pregnancy because our digestive system is a little bit slower than, um, you know, when we're not pregnant. But it's important that when we do have those meals, we are getting in nutrition that we need for our babies. So, and a lot of the time when I'm looking at these, you know, recipes and stuff, you know, I'm not seeing fruit or even veggies a lot of the time, which I can't imagine because that is my go-to yeah I will have fruit juices smoothies um, just fruit on its own uh, salads you know all this kind of stuff because I know it's beneficial not only for me but for the little one and so I just kind of wanted to bring this up because I feel that it's important for everybody to kind of keep that in mind. It's almost as if um, maybe sometimes people forget that it does affect uh, the little one growing because they're eating it too. You know, they're tasting what we are tasting. They're getting their... Um, you know, digestive system ready for when they come out. And so it's, it's definitely important to keep in mind what we're putting into our bodies. And, you know, especially, 
um, during this time. We should be increasing our calorie intake um, every trimester. And even breastfeeding is even more calories than the third trimester because that's a lot of work to breastfeed. So it's important to get in those extra calories. How do you get in those extra calories? Have a smoothie. Have, you know, juices that you make yourself. It's easy to do. Um, either get yourself a, you know, little juicer or you can get a blender blend it up, get a nut bag, squeeze the pulp out, and there you go. There's juice right there. So, you know, there's other ways that you can get in those extra calories. You know, have a little snack of celery and dates, or, um, you know, have little uh, date rolls, which are pretty good. <laughs> um, you know, just little things that you can nibble on throughout your day, you know, because it is actually said that we should be consuming at least something every one and a half to two hours. So keep that, you know, in the back of your mind when you're looking at what you've ate for the day. And if you're thinking to yourself, oh, wow, that's kind of a lot of food to be eating in a day, then chances are you're not getting enough um, in your day to sustain you. Why is it that we need food in our bodies every one and a half to two hours? And this is for um, people who are not pregnant as well. Is because it is important to have glucose running through our system. So sugar. <laughs> because our bodies run off of that. We need that energy. And it is, is crucial to have glucose and fructose in your diet. So, you know, potatoes, fruits, you know, like I said, those smoothies, those um, sources of glucose and fructose are important, um, you know, to sustain you and keep your energy levels up and stuff. And... Also, it helps you get in more food for the day when you think about every one and a half to two hours. Because, uh, you know, it's typical for people to have only three meals a day, which is not a lot. I mean, I think about my day and I'm, I feel like I'm constantly snacking, which is okay, you know. Uh, but a lot of people aren't doing that, you know. They're having these three big meals, um, sometimes not even big meals, uh, some of them are pretty tiny. I mean, like a small sandwich and a few chips I've seen, or french fries that have been deep fried, or fried onion rings as the side. And instead, what they could have done is, you know, okay, have the veggie sandwich Put a potato on the side, you know, or a sweet potato. Look at the nutritional benefits that are on your plate and are you getting, you know, the nutrition that you need in on that plate for that time? You know, just a portion of what you need for that day. A lot of the time, I would say, no, people aren't getting that nutritional intake because of the photos that I have seen, you know, inspiration for pregnant women, especially vegan pregnant women or plant-based pregnant women. Uh, there just, there just isn't enough calorie intake. Now, I could be wrong because I'm not with them every day and I'm not seeing their full uh, eatings list for the day. But from what I've seen, a lot of it is unhealthy and is not enough. <laughs> um, so, like I said, just keep it in mind. Be thoughtful on 
what you're putting into your body because it does matter. And like I said, um, if you're new to plant-based eating also and you're, and you're pregnant, just, you know, it's okay to eat, okay? It's okay to have smoothies. It's okay to have big salads. I mean, if you <laughs> check out some of the salads that I make, they're in, I mean, they're, you can't put them in those small, regular kitchen bowls, okay? They are in massive bowls because that's what will satisfy you. The more you intake of it, because let's, let's be honest, salads are very low calorie food, so you want to pack in the nutrition so you can put celery on there, you can put um, tomatoes, cucumbers, all kinds of stuff on this salad, just to bulk it up. And yes, <laughs> it can be massive, <laughs> and that's okay, because that's what you need to be satisfied. You need to eat until you are satisfied. If you are still hungry after eating, that's not a good sign. That means you did not, um, you know, get in enough to make you feel full. So with that, keep in mind, fat can trick the body into thinking that it has had enough to eat. And then shortly thereafter, you'll be hungry again. So it's better to fill your stomach with calorie dense and nutritious foods so that way you do stay fuller longer and you can meet that, you know, one and a half to two hour mark. Because uh, otherwise, if you're having a lot of fatty foods, you know, well, one, that's not good for you because that can lead to a lot of health issues that you don't want to experience. And two, um, you know, it's not going to keep you full longer. Uh, so, you know, those deep fried foods that I've seen in these <laughs> inspiration ideas, it's not going to keep them full that long. I mean, they're going to be wanting something shortly thereafter because it's just not going to fill you up and keep you full for long. As it doesn't have those fruits, those vegetables, which keep our stomachs full for quite a while if you eat enough of them. And that's the key point. You have to remember to eat enough. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for listening and watching this video. I hope you will come back for another video. And if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So every time I post a video, you will be notified. All right, have a great rest of your day.